Yo, Sonny! All right, step one, shut down your water supply line. Step two, flush the toilet. Step three, if you have a wet, dry shop vac, remove the water from the bowl. <laughs> Step four, put a small bucket, if you don't have a bucket, wrap a towel around the base of your shutoff valve and remove the nut here from the tank. Water will come out, let it catch into the towel. Step five, remove the cap and you will find a nut under here. Grab a 9 16 wrench and remove the nut. You will find one on the other side also. Step six, lift the toilet off the ground. remove it out of the way. Step seven is the grossest part of the job. So grab yourself a garbage bag. You need a scraper. You're going to scrape all this. It looks like they used caulk and grout, which is not a good idea. So we're going to scrape all that off and then we're going to get into the wax ring. We're going to lift the old one out scrape it all out and get it cleaned up. It looks worse than it is. This flange is actually a newer PVC flange. Some of them are rotted. So if you have a rotted flange you'd have to replace it. Check out videos on YouTube on how to replace your toilet flange. Step eight, once the flange is cleaned and the old wax ring is removed, your new toilet's gonna come most likely with a new wax ring and some new bolts and nuts. All right, so you remove them from the bag and you'll see one end has kind of an oval look. So you're gonna put it in the bigger part of the flange and you're gonna turn it sideways and lock it into the groove. Once you get the bolts in, you're gonna take these nuts they give you, and you're gonna tighten this all the way down, both sides. Once the bolts are secured by these nuts to keep these straight, we're gonna grab the toilet, whichever one you choose, read the instructions on how to put the toilet together. Here is the base of the new toilet. Flip it upside down, take your ring, put it right on here, push it a little bit, that will stay in place when we turn this over and lower it into the hole. This rubber guide will guide itself right into the hole of the flange. All right, step nine. Now that the toilet is set onto the wax ring, apply a little downward pressure with your body, making it even. We're gonna come over here and we're gonna secure the toilet to the floor. You're going to put your plastic guide in first. You're going to put your washer and you're going to put your wing nut on here. You're going to do the same on the other side. When you get the wing nuts snug, you want to lean your body on top of this 
toilet and turn. You don't want to go super tight because you don't want to crack it. You're going to hear noises, but go nice and easy. Do it one at a time on both sides. Okay, you take your cap, pop it right on top. Step 10, reconnect your supply line. Do it hand tight. It's got a compression washer in there. And that's it. All we have to do is turn on the water. Watch for leaks around this area. Let it fill up. And that's it. That was the 10 easy steps to replace your toilet bowl. I hope this helped. If it did, subscribe to my channel for much more. All right. Share the video with people you know that just bought houses. They want to change toilets. It saves some serious cash. And uh, don't forget to hit that bell for notifications. All right, what do we got to do now? People know. Winter is coming soon. It's getting cold out there. Just a quick recap. The old flush. Look how it's weak. Little circle. Logs get caught. They don't go down. It's gurgling and bubbling. Look at this. It's a joke. It takes three minutes to fill. Here's the new one. Boom, the power flush. Your logs are gone, kid. Glacier Bay. Go out and get you a new one, bro. We'll catch you on the next one.